Hi everyone and welcome to my next video. Sorry it's been a while, I've just not been that well. So it's going to be a get ready with me masquerade ball as I've just put my primer and my moisturiser on and my makeup fixer. The foundation I'm using today is Estee Lauder's Double Wear in the colour Bone. I've chosen this foundation because it's really good coverage and I want my skin to look flawless so I'm just applying that quickly all over my face before I'm going to move on to my concealer but before I do that I'm just popping a bit of lip balm on so the concealers that I'm using are my trusty collection 2000 concealers and I'm just applying those in two different colours number one and two and I'll be also using a damp beauty blender to blend that out I'm kind of using my concealer as a contour, so where I want the light to hit, I've put the lightest shade and obviously the darker shade where I don't want the light to hit. This is like ultimate coverage because I want my skin to be literally flawless for tonight. So I'm literally just going to be blending that out. Next, just to set that concealer, I'm using my Value Makers palette that I got from Amazon. I'm just using the white colour across the middle of my face and the darker colour across my cheeks. Next is on for brows, I'm using my Pixie by Petra brow and I'm just going to fast forward this bit because you've seen me do my eyebrows in plenty of videos. Voila, like magic! And for my contour, I'm using my trusty Kat Von D shade and light kit. I'll be mixing these two colours together. I'll be also using the yellow banana powder underneath my eyes and the highlighter colour underneath my contour. And as usual, I'm sucking in my cheeks just to find that contour line underneath my cheekbone. I also like to contour around my temple area. I'm just going to blend that out. And also underneath my jaw just to define it also down the middle of my nose just to give it a slimmer appearance and I'm just adding the yellowy powder underneath my eyes just to brighten them up next is on to blushes is a new one for me it's soap and glories blusher I like all the different colors and I like how no matter how much you pop on your brush it doesn't look too cakey this is also a new find for me, it's Makeup's Revolution Press Powder, I'm using it as a highlighter. I think it's really good, I'm quite impressed with it. I also use this powder to define underneath my contour line. Next for highlight, above my blusher, Max Light Scapade, this is my favourite highlighter. Not forgetting the Cupid's bow to give the appearance of bigger lips. Adding a bit of lip balm for my lipstick later and then I'll be using an array of products on my eyes but I'm just going to start with my under base. I'm using Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This is going to go underneath and then I'm going to, to be using lots of different bluey colours because it's going to be matching my dress. So I'm starting off with a neutral colour for the base and I'll be getting a little bit of a darker colour just to put through my crease. I'm going to be using it as a transition colour when I'll be putting my blue on. The eyeshadow I will be applying will be blended out. The trick to a good eyeshadow is just blend, blend, blend. I'm just adding a bit of highlight to my brow bone. Now for the fun part, the lovely blue colours. So I start off with my Sleek palette and my Makeup Geek palette. I'll be using both of these and blending them in from the outer corner of my eye to halfway on my lid. And I literally just keep applying the eyeshadow and blending it, applying the eyeshadow and blending it. But I have fast forwarded this bit just for the sake of the video. So literally you just keep applying it, blending it, applying it, blending it until you're happy with your result. I'm also going to be blending the colour underneath my lower lash line and I'll keep applying that and blending it as I have done with the top lid. This is on for a bit of sparkle. I'm using a L'Oreal eye colour and an aqua seal just to stop the glitter from falling out onto my cheeks. 
also add a bit more highlight just to clean up any fallout and bits that I've gone over with. Next I'm just curling my eyelashes before I apply some mascara. And then I'm going to be adding my false eyelashes and my glue but I won't be putting them on till I've after I've done my lipstick. So I'm using NYX's retractable lip liner in Nude and also NYX's Butter, butter gloss is it in the colour Stockholm so I have applied my glue to my lashes I'm just going to leave those to dry as I apply my lip liner and my lipstick so I just fill in my lips with the lip liner and go over the top with the butter gloss not to dry sorry to go tacky So next is on to my false eyelashes, I did have a bit of problem putting these on so I did have to cut them down to my um, eye size but after I cut them down I found they were relatively easily to put on and they went on straight away because I'd left the glue to go tacky a bit before applying. So now my makeup's done, it's on to my hair so I'm using my Remitol curl wand as usual. While I'm waiting that to heat up, I've just popped a bit of dry shampoo in to give it texture and also VO5s give me texture. It's just so when you put your hair up it stays up and it just goes up more easily because I did have, you'd be better doing this with second day hair but I did actually have to wash my hair. So I'm actually curling my hair loosely before clipping it up. Before I actually clip it up, I'm just going to back comb the hell out of the crown of my head because my hair is so thin, I have to make it look like it's got a bit of volume. Very scary. So a bit more hairspray and then I'm literally just flipping my hair over, twisting it round and clipping it up. And I also pull a little bit of hair out just to give it that, you know, elegant look. The bits of hair that I'm actually pulling out, I'm going to curl. I think it just give it a really nice look. Just remember the more hairspray the better and I do apologise about this next bit, I, I did get disturbed and yes the cat is getting dangled in front of the camera. Thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video this is the final look i absolutely love this dress and i do try and get the shoes in the video that i was wearing as well so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video please like and subscribe to see more videos thank you bye